Okay, so this is going to be a video full of shame <laughs> and happiness. It's a combination of shame and happiness. It's like being stuck in the corner with a box full of Hostess pies. Your mouth all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're ashamed, but you're also happy. <laughs> oh, no. So, this all has to do with all the panic buying I've done of Cold Steel since they announced that they'd sold to the GSM company. There's no easy way to do this. So let's just get into this. All right, so I'm just gonna go through these real quick <clears throat> and show you the ones that I bought so that you can see <laughs> that the panic hit me as well. Don't feel bad. We can have a support group together. Let's see if we can get this one out of here. It doesn't want to come out. All right, so first one I picked up is a medium Luzon. I checked that out. I think I mostly picked this up for a giveaway. I'm not sure I'm going to do a giveaway, but I might end up giving it to somebody for their birthday or something, but I like this knife. <laughs> it's got that lock on it. It makes it super secure. Oh, me. This is going to be a video of some sort. All right, so let's just put that back in the box. Should I do the box and the video? I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and... <laughs> That's not going back in the box very easy. All right, so then the next one I got was the Black Talon. An S35 VN here. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Oh man. You guys, if you don't have a black talent, you need a black talent for sure. That thing. That thing's awesome. That thing's just going to tear through stuff all day long. Okay. So I got the black talent. I think I have one of these. I know I have the serrated one. And I think I have the other one too. Was it the black talent that I busted on that pork bone that one time? Or was that the tiger claw? That may have been the tiger claw. All right, so I got the black talent. And if I can get this stupid loose on here, I can put it back in the picture too. Let me do this right. Hold on. I want it in the picture. It might be the cover shot. I don't know. Well, no, the cover shot would kind of ruin all the surprise of the video. Okay. Then. Now, I gave one of these away already, so that was kind of a panic buy as well. But I gave one away. But this is, of course, gun sight. Counterpoint there. This thing is, oh, man, you guys. Another one of those. Just get it in your hand and go to town on this thing. So, yeah. I got this one. I had it. I think I have a regular counterpoint somewhere. I don't remember exactly. But... I really wanted this one. This is a limited edition. And then limited edition plus all the panic going on with them buying or selling. I wanted to get back into one of those or get into one of those. All right. Now, this one I don't even think is open. Nope, it's not even open. I got a another Vaquero. I don't even know if I have one anymore. Let me see if I can open this. Is it wrong to open up a cold steel with something else besides a cold steel? We're going to do it. We're going to do it off camera. So I don't get really shamed for the knife that I'm using. No, I'm just using CGRV. Okay, so we'll open this one real quick. See what's in here. I, th I thought I bought the serrated one, but I might not have. I think the only reason I would get this if it was serrated. We'll see here in a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, folks. Oh, let me tell you. Look at that. That's just like five and a half inches of bad news for somebody or something. But, or meat, meat of a non-human variety. It's just bad news. That's some awesome, awesome stuff there. That is never going in there again. You're never getting that back in the box. All right, I'm going to have to cut this part out because my coordination skills are three. Should have boosted my dexterity when I was boosting my strength and wisdom all right why would you need strength and wisdom here that's like a cleric thing right okay so i got that and then a buddy of mine sent me one of these 
And I was like, oh, I can't just have one. And I've got my first one from my buddy, which will be laid in my coffin with me. And then there's this one. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, folks. Oh. You want that just monster beefy feeling for not very much. Uh, you want that Espada XL kind of feeling. It's not exactly the Espada XL, but man. <sighs> this thing is awesome. Six inches of just <sighs> jungle chopping. This thing is awesome, awesome. So yeah, I had one. And then I got this one. This one's a little bit different. But I still I panic bought. I, when you're panicking, you're not thinking. That's what panicking means. It comes from the French panic. No, it doesn't. I don't know where it comes from. I'll look it up later, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to make up a lie. <laughs> All right. It doesn't come from the French. I don't know what kind of. Probably Latin. Everything comes from the Latin or Greek. Okay. So then I got one of these. Now, I was going to get one of these, I think, anyways, but I got one. And I wanted to kind of revisit it in a video. So I'm going to talk about this again in a video. Check that out, the Immortal. That is just a stabby, stabby piece of knife there. So I got the Immortal. Did a lot of panic buying. I'm going to be like, my kids are going to remember the Christmas of 2020 and how terrible it was and we had no money. Yes, Junior, that was a bad year. That was a bad year for everybody, except Daddy. <laughs> Remember, we got socks and Cheerios for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, but you got two bags of them, so what are you whining about? <laughs> All right, let's keep going here. All right, I got this one. This one just came in a couple days ago. This was a horrible, horrible nightmare for a second there. The Magnum Tanto, the 3V. Oh man, this thing, you guys. Oh man, I gotta think that blade is. I really gotta stab through something with that. Let me find an old tire or something. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I'm not proud of myself, but I'm also, you know, not re well. I am ashamed. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed for my children and the holes in their socks. Okay, let's keep going. But they just got new socks, right? <laughs> and some healthy breakfast foods. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to save that one for last. I don't know. Something about that just says, do that one last. Okay. Then, of course, you're not going to be able to see this one very much. But I did get the <laughs> Chinese war sword machete, which we found out is excellent for making ham sandwiches. That was a fun, fun blade. Oh, you guys, that's a fun, fun. I don't call it a knife, but it's more like a sword, but it's fun. Whatever it is, it's sharp and it wants to hack and slash. So get you one of those. Okay, and then I didn't have one of these, believe it or not. So, yes, I do feel shame for this one. <laughs> but. Look at that. This thing feels so good. This thing feels better than most of the versions of the American 4 Max, except for that first run. When you get this in your hand, this is kind of what you want to feel out of the 4 Max. Oh, man, I love this knife so much. I love the 4 Max. Such a great knife. Definitely something you have to have. If you can't have this one, have the 4 Max Scout. Because it is right up there and just oh man, I kind of have that kind of knife. Okay, so we did a little panicking. Let me check. See, I didn't even buy a new chair. Sounds like geese are over here making out. Okay, this was the final panic buy. I don't know if it was the final, but it was the final one we're gonna look at here. Oh man. Still got the plastic on the bolsters and stuff. <laughs> you guys. Oh, man. If you guys have never, ever 
<laughs> you guys just you have to have this. You know the 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 big G10 one is awesome, and it probably if you're gonna be EDC something just crazy crazy huge, it may be a little bit better EDCable just because of the weight. But this thing, this thing just says, oh man, this thing just says stuff. This is like, I don't even know, like Mexican drug lord. Oh, it's even better than the one from Better Call Saul, because he was wearing the large. This thing. Oh, man. I love this knife so much. I'm so glad I got this one so I can carry it. I don't have to carry my XHP version, which is kind of stuck in the safe forever. But this, oh, let's just do this one more time. <laughs> oh, holy heck, folks. Seriously. This thing's worth saving up for. This thing. And it's not just pretty. It's not just, it's a beast of a knife. You can take this out in the jungle with you and just never worry about it. That triad lock, S35VN. Oh man, this thing is awesome. <clears throat> so I think that's it for the panic buying. Did y'all panic buy much? I know some of y'all did. Did y'all get any of my selection? Let me put that in there. Did y'all get any of these? Now, let's see. I didn't, ha I kind of had one of those. I didn't have that one. I don't think I have one of those anymore. The only one I have is the, the Lynn Thompson version, the signature. So I didn't have that one or that one or that one or that one. Well, I kind of had that one, but I was going to give it away. So I didn't have that one. I didn't have that one. I have the serrated version of that one, but I don't have that one. I didn't have that one. I have four maxes, but they're not the Italian four maxes. And I have one of these in XHP. So I don't know what is is that cheating? Is that doubling up? If you if you don't have one in the S thirty five BN, is it cheating if you bought one anyways? If you have an XHP? I don't know. Let me know down there. Is that cheating? <laughs> Am I doubling up? Because I really, if you think about it, I didn't panic horribly and start buying things I already have. I don't think. Yeah, and I didn't have, of course, I didn't have the War Sword. So I think I did pretty good. What do you think? I know this was actually, I think this was going to be a gun. And I had to save money for a gun and, you know, ammunition. And then Lynn Thompson slipped in the bathtub, bumped his head, sold his company, and then I had to slip in my bathtub, bump my head, and buy a bunch of stuff. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. I was going to buy a gun, <laughs> and so it would be a while. Yeah, before we don't... <laughs> you know what? That's why they make those bagged alternate versions of the children's cereals at Walmart. <laughs> you don't get Captain Crunch. You get, like, Lieutenant Crispies. <laughs> They're just a little lower ranked. They taste pretty much the same. They just tear your mouth up a little bit more. Lieutenant <laughs> Krispies. Oh, man. Oh. So, the children were eating Lieutenant Krispies for a while. And those Cheerios they got for Christmas. So, I did do some bad buying. I love Cold Steel. If they do end up going under or not getting right with the knives and stuff that they're going to do, I think I'm covered for a while. Let me know what you think down there. Did you get anything like this? Please say you did so I don't feel all by myself. <laughs> and I think that's it. Let me make sure here. I feel these waves of red shame coming over my face. I'm just like almost embarrassed. But I'm also happy. I want to get these out and play with them after the video. All right. I'll talk to you all later.